Yet another new round of dangerous spring weather, causing chaos across the South and Midwest. Overnight, Colorado slammed with a vicious hailstorm. While on Tuesday, it was Texas taking the brunt of the damage. From trees threatening homes in Houston to a 120-year-old church going up in flames, the result of an apparent lightning strike. It's painful. To this home under construction in Magnolia, Texas, collapsing as workers escaped, except for a 16-year-old worker stuck inside. The loss of life uh, is heavy on all of us. Wind gusts topping 75 miles an hour, forcing Houston's Bush Intercontinental Airport to order a ground stop. While powerful winds push this American Airlines aircraft away from its gate at DFW, American reporting no injuries, adding its maintenance team is currently conducting thorough inspections of the plane. These floodwaters snarling traffic on a Texas interstate as motorists try to get to work. Also in the mix, golf ball sized hail and torrential rain slamming neighborhoods and businesses. In California, it's earthquakes. In Florida, it's hurricanes. We're not safe anywhere. Shame. Local officials here say that four other people were also electrocuted, three of them by a downed power line. They are expected to survive. Moving forward, millions right now under slight risk of severe storms, Savannah, and that does include parts of Texas. Back to you. All right, Sam Brock, North of Houston for us. Let's go to yeah. Al now with more on this. Yeah, good morning, guys, and good morning to you. And right now, things drying out a bit in Texas before we get another round of these storms coming in. We've got two systems that are going to be affecting the U.S. This uh, one storm over the Canadian Maritimes, cooler showers for the Midwest and Northeast. But this second storm will be coming in today and tonight, a strong cold front pushing into the northern plains. We're looking at these storms erupting by evening, stretching from Pueblo, Colorado, all the way up into the Dakotas. And these storm impacts, we're looking for large hail, low tornado risk, but damaging wind gusts, again, 60 miles per hour. Tomorrow, that severe weather shifts to the south, returning to Texas again from Colorado all the way to Dallas. We're looking at heavy rain. There could be some flash flooding possible with this system. Seven million people at risk from Abilene to Lamar Dodge City as well. Dallas and then Friday, multiple rounds of thunderstorms, torrential rain, that saturated soil is is going to enhance that flood threat. And in fact, we're looking in Texas into Oklahoma, anywhere from three to five inches of rain as we get into Friday. So we're going to be watching the potential for flash flooding very closely in this area. Guys. All right, Al. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.